Hello everybody and welcome to Phoenix Gaming. I am your host Nick Henning and today we're doing something a little funky. I had recently someone in uh, a group that I'm in ask how long it takes people to beat uh, Terraforming Mars solo um, using Prelude. They just put Prelude on Alpha essentially on um, Board Game Arena. I have never played the solo game of Terraforming Mars though I have played this game a gazillion times. So this is me firing up the first uh, set and we're gonna see how we do this person asked if 12 gens was kind of the target so we're of course targeting to do 11 gens and we'll see what we can do with that so uh as my understanding uh our only goal here is to is to end the game we just want to terraform mars we don't really care about victory points which is going to make our lives a lot easier so it seems like cities are straight up dumb so we're choosing credit core it's not much of a choice here and uh we want Hecka income. We want to be solving problems. The game's going to go on a little bit longer. So anything that gives us income is going to be even more beneficial. This looks like a really bad hand for doing this. <laughs> like, this is great. Um, I wonder if I'm supposed to take Business Network to, like, see more cards. I definitely think I'm taking this GHG producing bacteria. Longer games make these microbes better, um, and it'll be generating, you know, uh, uh, that, that terraforming there. House printing I could consider. You know, it's going to cost me essentially 13 bucks, 10 plus the 3 for the card, and get me back $2 per turn, essentially. Um, but I don't think it's really that worthwhile in this. Uh, people don't like black polar dust, but this actually might be kind of sexy for us. Uh, that heat gen plus the, I mean, the lake, you know, we're going to play this at some point. I think that seems entirely reasonable. I don't normally like special design, but I actually kind of wonder if it's good here um, for like rushing out our GHG producing bacteria earlier. It's probably not worth an extra $7. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a terribly good hand for this. Business empire is great. The extra six money income is good. See, ecology experts just literally, oh, it's just tags, I see. I think, normally I hate molehole excavation, but in a game where my goal is just to terraform, this actually might be the way to go. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the sexiest starting hand. I normally quite like large convoy, but these two victory points don't do anything for us. Is there just a bunch of duds here? Right, because everything has points. We don't want points. We want to. We want to solve problems. Yeah, we're just doing normal space stuff. Business network is the big question here: whether I'm supposed to be seeing more cards or not at the cost of money per turn. You know what? We're not going to. We're gonna just run this. This really, really basic set of solve problems cards. Two keeps. Woof. <laughs> this is pretty incredible. Maybe I'll get to the, so these stuff, are these just blocked off? Is that the idea? Because I haven't added to the percentage. I don't think I even realized that there was like an initial setup. Like, why do I care about the city being here? What difference does that make at all? Do I have to beat someone's points? Let me go read the rules. Hold on. I see. I guess this is just part of setup and there's a way to steal from them and stuff like that. Whatever. Um, that doesn't seem important to us. I don't think we're going to start with the black polar dust. I think we want this money more than anything. I also only learned upon reading the rules that I start with a base income of 14. So good thing we fixed that. Um, we're going to start off by dropping a lake in play. It's going to go. Do we want to draw cards? Do we want to start this? Let's draw cards. Oh, that's not bad. I was going to drop a greenery after this, um, but I think actually income is good. Ironworks is kind of entertaining. I normally wouldn't be playing this card, but if I could get the, I don't know how many, four friggin' resources, but that's our turn. Gen one, done. Exciting. Exciting stuff, you guys. Does that produce on turn one? I guess for turn zero, you produce. Um, great. A whole bunch of point generating cards. Cities, awesome. <laughs> great. <laughs> Killer start. Killer start. All right. Um, 
we are just going to put a greenery into play. This is kind of like making plus one income per turn. We're trying to get up to 4% so that we can play this bacteria fella over here. Um, we also get $4 back thanks to playing credit core and we're done. <laughs> this game's easy. We're going to be done like 15 minutes. Oh, well, we're taking acquired company. We're just going to become super rich. I think we're definitely taking microorganisms. Moss is kind of cute. Like the game is long enough that it actually might be worth it if I get enough lakes into play soon. Like let's say, I don't know, by gen six, I get three lakes into play. That's about five-ish gens. So this is like half a tree. Uh, half a tree for $7. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Could also just take it to do the food factory thing. It's not so exciting though. Um, no, we'll do these. By the way, it's not entirely clear to me from reading the rules what the goals are. You know, it talks about maximizing your points, uh, but this person asked about how long it takes to play the game. So my goal is just to finish fast, no matter how many points we score. Um, and that's, that's, that's just how we're going to run this puppy. I'm already feeling like getting to friggin' 12 seems really hard. <laughs> I don't feel like things seem too exciting here. We're already like a third of the way through the game. This is definitely happening. Oh, we were just talking about the moss. I don't have to wait. I could play this right now. I don't think I need the energy production. <clears throat> what am I doing this turn? This puts me to $32. This puts me to $29. Six puts me to 23. And then 23, I can buy a freaking greenery. You got it, archaeobacteria. You've convinced me. You're superior to Moss. All right. Play you. Technically, we should play our greenery first because it rebates us our $4 or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Maybe actually what I do is I play a lake instead so I can keep playing greeneries and get money back. I'm not going to play this ironworks. Go away. Pass. Okay. Round five. Let's go. This is the turn we're going to pop off. Kelp farming is a no brainer. Let's go. Do we have two earth tags? It's not too late for space hotels, I think, right? Yeah. Plenty of time for space hotels. Decomposers is just points. That doesn't meet our goal. Nice and easy here. We could play hackers just for the walls. Okay. I do want to play this this turn. That gives me $17. I see. So if I pay 23 for a greenery, that puts me to... I really paid 19, putting me to 10. Let's me play greenery here, giving me $2 back, putting me to 12, which lets me play this. It'll also let me play another greenery this turn, which I think is going to be the most efficient thing we can do. So let's run this puppy. Welcome to space. 
And we want this income. I miss out on $2 if I play here or here in the long run. How am I going to play my lakes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The question is like whether the other lakes go there, or there. I think I'm going to go here and plan to drop the lakes like this and this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that, and not do these. Let's say that we do that. This will get us our $2, but we'll get a little bit more back when we put these lakes down here. And, you know, by doing the terraforming now, we just get ourselves one extra dollar per turn. Uh, we're good. <laughs> that's going in. Ooh, that's interesting. Probably not grass. I don't think it does quite enough. Is this good enough at this stage? Yeah, we get a discount of 10 because we've got all this steel that we're not doing anything with. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Ideally, this turn, we'd like to play our GHG producing bacteria. which is gonna require us to drop 19 on another greenery if that's what we wanna do. 19 and eight makes 27. So we're not also playing a mole hole if we're doing that. Alternatively, we can go the mole hole route. Hilariously, this makes four heat and this makes, you know, half of a temperature. So it also makes four heat. Um, we could do like Lake Mole Hole, Lake Mole Hole. Or we could do like Mole Hole. If we did this Mole Hole, 20 rebate four rebate two costs us 14, which will put us down to 18. We could do like Lava Flows and Mole Hole. Lava Flows gives us this. That gives us kind of a more efficient production. I think this is actually the better plan. And yes, I know I'm supposed to count this beforehand, but at the, before I like buy these cards, but at the same time, I for sure was gonna take these two cards because they did cool things. <clears throat> um, did I miss count by, by $10? I sure did. <laughs> Yeah, great. Okay. I think we still do this plan, though. Um, I'm not mad at playing the mole hole. It's so good. We just have extra money. If I pay 23 now, I get two, $2 back, $6 back. So 17 puts me to 11. I could do this instead of the lava flows. This is like making four heat production. This is one heat production and two dollars. Plus I have to play my greenery a little bit inefficiently. I think this is still better. And we just do the GHG next turn. These guys, they come out on turn seven, seven, eight, nine cash in, 10, 11, 12 cash in. That's just fine if our target's 12. I mean, our target's 11, but. We're not even sure we're going to make it to 12. Okay, yeah. You, right? I think we just want the stuff over the random card. Yeah, let's do the stuff over the random card. Also, we can put lots of greeneries in different places here. Lots of options for that. Which seems exciting for us. That's our turn, right? Um, bushes are not terrible. We don't have the energy to make any of the rest of these puppies run. It's going to be a while till we can play bushes. I still think they're good, though. I think we're going to take the bushes. <laughs> 
Mm, Kiroki. We definitely want a greenery this turn, but we could just do it with a lake. So we have a lot of options right now. I think we want to pivot into points. So I think now is the time we play the black polar dust. That puts us to 30. $2 back. So 32. Then greenery. Four bucks puts us to 36. Spend eight puts us to 28. What if instead we did like lake lake 15 and 18 so that's 33 rebate four dollars so 29 dollars putting us to 16 dropping the greenery here putting us to 22 22 spend another eight I think I like that more than the other plan let's do it let's do it let's do it because I think we'll have enough then maybe to bump our heat up as well so we're gonna go for this maximum money build and ta -da. Okay, that seems good. Let's eat our greens. I go here. Let's do some heat. That goes up there. 22, do our GHDs. Bump this puppy up. And we're gonna drop a uh, we did our math correctly. We're gonna drop an asteroid on here because it gives us plus one heat production as well as that extra dollar for the terraforming. Cool. Seems good. Bunch of duds except for maybe viral enhancers. <clears throat> Nope, bunch of duds. Viral Enhancers doesn't do enough work for us. And we're not playing animals or anything like that this game, so it's kind of irrelevant. Mm -hmm -hmm. Are we getting to negative eight? We sure aren't. Are we getting to negative 10? We sure aren't. We're not playing anything from hand. We really want to get towards kelp farming. Just do lakes and greeneries. Base lakes and base greeneries. I don't think we're doing temperature anymore because we've got a whole temperature system. Yup. Lakes. Greenery. Lakes. That's our turn. Is that round eight? <laughs> Seems like we're still really far away. <laughs> uh, sure, take this comment. I think without prioritizing points, 
I mean, just doing the race thing, this makes it a little bit more narrow. If you're trying to think of what, what your points will look like in the long, long run, I can see this being a little bit more interesting. Um, we're definitely going to play kelp farming. We're definitely going to up the heat a lot. Uh, remove. I grumble about the fact that we're at 12, but then be happy about the fact that we've got this comet. Let's increase the temperature, place our ocean tile here, I guess. Gain plants. Um, if I just hard build a greenery, it costs me, well, let's do this first. Go in here to maximize our money. I guess I should briefly consider, oh, did I just undo everything? Oh no, that's horrible. <laughs> okay, all right, undo done does everything. What's the point of keep asking me to undo if I didn't do everything? Ugh, ugh. I guess better safe than sorry. We'll fix all this, apologies. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think probably the undo system is not built for playing solo. And that's the basic idea. So the reason I did that undo, because I was hasty about placing my greenery, and I'm wondering if I actually have enough greenery to to collect enough plants to play yet another greenery like for free this turn, right? Um, so like if, for instance, I've got 11 here. If I do, if I do lake greenery, Lake greenery bushes. Lake greenery bushes. That's plus one, two, three, four, five, which gets me to sixteen. So that is the magic number. But can I afford? Can I afford the lake and the bushes? The lake's eighteen puts me down to six. The greenery gives me six back for twelve. So actually, it was worth it that we undid here because I think this is. A smidge more efficient with like one one extra dollar money production or something like that. Right? Hopefully I did this correctly. Great, great, great. <laughs> cool. Well, certainly the the speed of the game tilts, it tips. Didn't have a ton of exciting comedy things early, but we did have a bunch of cash. We just made that do our work for us. We don't need any of this crap. Nitrophilic moss at this stage is too late because we had to pay two to get two production and we're trying to end by 12. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So we've got our last lake here. No other lakes matter. Uh, let's do this. Yep, so that we can pay aforementioned lake. I think we're gonna take what's hopefully gonna turn to six dollars later. 
we've got enough space for greeneries to go. We'll see if we eat those words. We're hoping for like a Demos down or something like that. Big asteroid. All these good guys. Uh, sure. All right, and then we've got $59, $59 to work with. We're going to be uh, one heat short next turn. Yikes. It's annoying because I wanted it to be able to go three steps. Oh, I've screwed myself out of the free lake here. That's something to note is that I should have left eight lakes. Does it make sense to not play that lake card? Yeah, I think so. I shouldn't have played a lake earlier, but I shouldn't be playing this now because the income it gives me is not worth it. But there's a lake I shouldn't have played earlier that I paid 18 for, like last round when I paid for this stuff. It's a nice trigger here, but my the cuteness here actually backfired for me. So cost myself a little bit there. We're going to go ahead and uh, sell these cards so that I don't make this mistake again. <laughs> the game doesn't tempt me. Um... Yeah, bummer. <laughs> and so we're uh Is there any chance we're winning this next turn? We need six of these and seven of these, and I'm getting one of each plus all this money. Plus all this money. I mean, we're a whole lot better at placing these greeneries. 11, because we get the money back. But there's now we can't place on this side, which is where we'd like to place. But we can place over here, which is pretty good. Let's do it. We're going to do at least one. Because we could walk over this way. Rebates, rebates, rebates. And then 31... <laughs> I don't want to overdo the greens. I'm going to do get I'm going to get two greens next turn. You know, cuz I place here and here basically. Two greens next turn. So if I do a green right now, I might end up overkilling it a little bit. I definitely need the I definitely need the heat. Yeah, let's just start dropping asteroids. I could have done a greenery and an asteroid, but I think I need more asteroids. And I think this is actually even just more income, so I think this is still kind of correct anyway. All right, now I'm feeling, we're definitely gonna be done by turn 12. We might not have a great score, but we're gonna be done. Do we have two science tags? <laughs> we sure do. Do I need this extra greenery? One, two, three, four, sure. Yeah, we'll take it. Cool. If we had gotten that GHG guy out earlier. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm getting a space thing. Let's draw a random card instead. Hilarious. What, two events hidden. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll just go ahead and uh, sell this guy.
Greenery. Now let's us do some more greeneries. And of course, we would be loath to not play out any more greeneries. And then what we do is we go one, two, three, four, five. Four times 14 is 56. And the greenery is not going to get us there. So we're going to be just a smidge short of ending on turn 12. Ugh. Is the smidge the error that we made with this lake earlier here? What did that cost us? Mm. It was $2 more efficient with the lake. It also got us a greenery into play. So let's say it was like $3. Let's say 4 even to be generous. Or like to, to, to not kick ourselves as much. Let's say it was like a $4 play for me to do that. I spent 18 on it instead of the 8 for the card. So I cost myself six bucks. So am I six bucks short is the question. 23 rebate six. Yeah, rebate six. Uh, rebate more than six. Rebate uh, uh, eight is 15. 15 and 56. Oh man, we missed it somewhere. 15 and 56 is uh, 71, which is not quite enough. That's not the six, but we definitely, so close, so close to having 11. Oh, we're so close. All right, well, I mean. We're going to have 18 heat next turn. <laughs> you guys aren't helpful, unsurprisingly. But this is like a point for free, I mean, for three dollars. So, sure. Oh, we were gonna get three up. Mm. Bought one too many heat last turn. I'd have the same amount of uh, income because I would have just bought a um, a city instead, which is the same one dollar income. So if we are fourteen dollars short of anything, it's because we're moving too hastily. Uh, this doesn't matter too too much. All right, let's see what our city situation is like. And we're at 11 plants. There's no way we're making five more plants. So great. Just jamming tiles. Oh, great. Okay, so we didn't... I think we also missed sequence a little bit right now in the building, but we didn't need the extra $14. I think even if we place here and get the $4 back, the extra $14 does not do anything for us. So that mistake at least is forgivable. Uh, I guess here's the best, right?
One, two, three, four. Did I just get a greenery here? Yes, I did. I've got one more placement. Yeah, I don't think there's any way. Okay. We're done. There we have it. 12 turns. I think we could have done an 11. I do think it's possible. I don't know if this game it would have been possible. But I do think that it would be generically possible. Oh, I was supposed to put this here. So that I could put a greenery here. Instead of here. Great. Pretend I have one more point. <laughs> here we have it. That's solo game. 91 points. I have no idea if that's good or not. But go us. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you had a nice time.